Wow, can you believe it? This just in the government has officially confirmed that new legislation has passed to send out monthly stimulus checks of $5,500 to Social Security recipients. This is absolutely groundbreaking news in the world of Social Security and will impact millions of Americans who depend on these benefits. In this video today, I'll be breaking down all the details about this shocking new announcement. We'll talk about who exactly qualifies for the new $5,500 monthly checks, when you can expect to start seeing payments, and how to make sure you get enrolled. This is the stimulus check update we've all been waiting for, so make sure to pay close attention, like and subscribe, and share this video so others can learn this crucial information. All right. Let's dive right into the details of this unprecedented news $5,500 per month heading to Social Security beneficiaries because of new legislation passed in Congress. As you can imagine, this is an astronomically high monthly payment for Social Security and it's going to help millions of seniors and disabled Americans immensely. The bill providing the increase in benefits cited the sky-high inflation we've been experiencing as the reason why an emergency boost to Social Security was necessary. Prices have been surging on everything from gas to groceries, and lawmakers acknowledged that a permanent cost of living adjustment wasn't going to cut it anymore. So as of right now, the Social Security Administration has been directed to start issuing monthly checks of $5,500 to all individuals dependent on these benefits. Just think that's over $60,000 per year in stimuli heading into the accounts of retirees and disabled individuals. All right. Now let's go over some of the key details that we know right now based on the legislation and announcements from the SSA. First, it's important to understand who exactly qualifies for the astronomical raise to $5,500 per month. The SSA has clarified that all Social Security retirement or disability beneficiaries will receive the higher payments. Specifically, this includes those receiving Social Security retirement benefits. Social Security Disability Insurance Recipients Individuals who receive Supplemental Security Income So no matter what kind of Social Security benefits you currently get retirement, SSDI, SSI you will now be bumped up to the new monthly maximum of $5,500. In terms of timing, the SSA said they are working diligently to start issuing the new payments in the next 3-4 weeks. That means you could see that first $5,500 hit your bank account before the end of the month. Going forward, the payments will continue to be distributed on the regular Social Security schedule around the 3RD of each month. And it doesn't matter if you receive payments by check or direct deposit, the SSA will automatically adjust the amounts and you don't need to do anything on your end. They have all beneficiary info on file already. So in recap, all Social Security recipients, whether retirement, SSDI, or SSI, will see payments of $5,500 per month starting to go out in the next three weeks. This is life-changing. How to apply? Now you might be wondering what if I'm not already receiving Social Security but want to sign up so I can get the $5,500 monthly checks? The good news is, the SSA will be opening enrollment back up soon specifically because of this new legislation. Here are the steps you need to take. First, check your eligibility. To qualify for Social Security benefits and therefore the stimulus payments, you must be at least 61 years and 6 months old for early retirement, have worked for at least 10 years and paid your Social Security taxes, be a U.S. citizen. As long as you meet these requirements, you'll be able to newly enroll and start collecting the boosted $5,500 monthly checks. Next gather the required application documents. This includes your social security card or record of your SSN, your birth certificate, tax returns, W-2S, and paycheck stubs for the last two years, your bank account info for setting up direct deposit. With these ready, you can then go online, call, or visit your local SSA office to submit your application for benefits. The most popular way to apply right now is through the SSA website. I'll put a link in the description below so you can start your application online. Once submitted, the SSA will review your eligibility and required docs. As long as everything checks out, you'll be enrolled and eligible for the stimulus payments. So in summary, if you meet the age, work history, and citizenship requirements, hurry and get your Social Security benefits application submitted. 
This will ensure you get enrolled in time to start collecting those monthly $5,500 checks. The breakdown on this shocking Social Security stimulus update. $5,500 monthly checks getting sent out to all beneficiaries starting in just a few weeks. This is such crucial information, so please be sure to like and subscribe to help others find this video so they can get caught up on the details as well. I'll be monitoring this closely and will provide any updates if more information is released. But the main points to remember are $5,500 monthly payments have been approved. All Social Security Retirement, SSDI, and SSI recipients qualify. Checks start going out in the next 3-4 weeks. You can newly apply online if eligible. This extra $60,000 plus per year is going to be a total game changer for millions of Americans. I'm so glad we have this new legislation providing much needed relief through these unprecedented Social Security stimulus checks. We'll cover all the details in the first four minutes, then dive into everything you need to know about who qualifies, how to apply, and more. Definitely stick around for the full scoop so you can take advantage of this money. I'll be giving this news the hype it deserves so make sure to smash that like button to support the channel. Alright, let's jump right into the big announcement. The news is that an eligible individual cannot collect Social Security Retirement and Social Security Disability Insurance, known as SSDI, at the same time. However, a person is allowed to receive SSDI and Supplemental Security Income, or SSI, benefits at the same time. This means if you believe you qualify for both SSDI and SSI, you'll want to compare the monthly benefits and apply for the program that will provide you with the most money. The government understands that some people truly need both disability and supplemental income support, so they allow people to collect both SSDI and SSI together. This update is going to be a total game changer for anyone who relies on these programs. Being able to get both SSDI and SSI at the same time can really add up and make a huge difference in people's lives. Just think about what a boost in monthly income this could provide for those in need. This extra money can help folks pay for groceries, medical bills, housing, and other essential expenses. No one should have to choose between disability and supplemental support. This policy change lets people access both. Now let's really break down why this news matters. Social Security is something every American pays into with each paycheck. It's meant to be there for you when you need it most. Disability benefits provide income for those unable to work full-time due to a serious medical condition. SSI gives additional money to aged, blind or disabled people with limited income and resources. By allowing people who are eligible to receive both SSDI and SSI at the same time, the government is providing maximum support through the Social Security system. This helps our most vulnerable citizens make ends meet and live with dignity. It's an impactful change that will improve quality of life. Alright, now that we've covered the major news update in detail, let's shift gears and talk about who qualifies for this extra money and how you can apply. The key is understanding the difference between Social Security Retirement, SSDI, and SSI. Social Security Retirement benefits are for people 62 and older who have worked and paid Social Security taxes long enough. SSDI is for those unable to work due to disability before reaching full retirement age. And SSI disability benefits are for disabled adults and kids with limited income and resources. If you have a serious disability that prevents you from working and are younger than full retirement age, you may qualify for SSDI. This pays benefits based on your prior work history and Social Security tax contributions. The monthly amount varies based on your former earnings. SSI is a supplemental program based on financial need, not work history. Eligible disabled adults and kids who meet strict monthly income and resource limits can qualify. The maximum monthly SSI amounts for 2024 are $914 for an individual and $1,371 for couples. So if you have a disability and have little work history or low former earnings, you may potentially get both SSDI and SSI simultaneously. The SSDI would provide income based on your contributions and the SSI supplemental money would give you additional support up to the federal maximum. This combined income can really help cover more of your disability-related costs. Plus any SSDI-dependent benefits for eligible spouses and children come separately and do not reduce SSI payments. 
The bottom line is if you think you may qualify for both programs, you should absolutely apply. Speaking of how to apply, let's go over that next. To file an application for SSDI, you'll want to contact Social Security online, by phone, or in person at your local office. There's no cost to apply. You'll need to provide medical and work history documentation that supports your disability. For SSI, you can submit an application on the Social Security website or call or visit your local office. You'll also need to verify your income, resources, and living arrangements. Applicants must be you, S, residents, or citizens. Make sure to apply for both SSDI and SSI at the same time if you think you're eligible. I really hope this video has helped explain this Social Security news update and who can benefit from it. Just remember, now eligible people can get both SSDI and SSI disability payments simultaneously. This extra income can make a huge difference for those unable to work due to disability. Similarly, if you currently get SSDI but want to add on SSI as well, you just need to submit an SSI application. This will involve providing financial details like income, resources, and living arrangements to prove eligibility. Either way, you apply for the new benefits the same way you would if you were seeking them independently. The Social Security Administration will just now consider and potentially approve you for both programs. Make sense? Next big question how much extra money could you potentially get from collecting both SSDI and SSI concurrently? Well, it really depends on your specific situation namely, your SSDI monthly benefit amount compared to the flat SSI payment. For example, if your SSDI check is lower than the SSI standard of $783, adding SSI could bring you up to that full $783. So if your SSDI was only $500, concurrent SSI benefits would get you an extra $283 per month. On the other hand, if your SSDI was already higher than $783, adding SSI wouldn't result in any extra benefits. You just keep receiving your higher SSDI amount. The big winners here are SSDI recipients whose prior earnings entitle them to less than $783. Concurrent SSI can fill in the gap up to $783. The bottom line is that, for many folks who qualify for both programs, the new concurrent benefits option will mean putting more money in their pocket each month. And that can really help given how high the cost of living is right now. All right, we've covered the basics of who qualifies, how to apply, and how much extra money you might get. But here are a few final important notes about the SSDI and SSI concurrent benefits situation. First, keep in mind this change is brand new, so there may be some kinks at first as the Social Security Administration adjusts. The rules are still being finalized, so be patient if you run into any hiccups applying. Second, applying for SSDI and slash or SSI involves a lot of paperwork and documentation. I'd recommend getting an experienced lawyer to help navigate the process and make sure you submit everything correctly. They can really increase your odds of getting approved. And third, benefits are always changing and evolving. If you currently receive SSDI or SSI or get approved down the road, stay up to date on the rules so you fully understand what you're entitled to. Policy tweaks like this new concurrent benefits option don't happen too often, so take advantage when they do. All right, everyone, that's a wrap. I hope this video gave you the complete lowdown on the big news that Americans can now get concurrent social security disability and supplemental income benefits. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this info helpful I really appreciate the support.